So last time what we did was we used a solid acid dissolved into water and uh, that we knew the mass of, so we could calculate the number of moles, and then we used that to figure out how many moles of sodium hydroxide we had, and therefore how much concentration there was in our sodium hydroxide base. What we're going to be doing today is going to be a very similar setup and a very similar process. There's a couple of key differences. Number one, we now know the concentration of sodium hydroxide. I didn't put it on my table because that's your job. We're going to use that known concentration to now figure out the concentration of an acid. So what's going to happen is the base piece, the burette piece, is going to be the same. I know the starting volume of my base. I will titrate to a faint pink and get my final volume, so then I'll know how much volume of sodium hydroxide I use. I will then combine that with the concentration, which I know from the previous experiment, and I will be able to calculate number of moles of base, number of moles of base. Then, because of the reaction, the number of moles of base will be equal to the number of moles of acid. From there, I will know the volume of acid that I'm using. Now, I'm actually going to use a syringe. There's a couple of other options that we could go with, but we want a fairly accurate measurement. So a syringe gives us a pretty good uh, way to measure things, fairly accurate, quite precise. I'm going to start with 10 milliliters, and if it doesn't take a whole lot, then maybe I'll go up to 20 or something like that uh, to give it a bit of a sporting chance. But I'm going to use a syringe to put a volume of acid in there. So that when I'm done my, my calculations or when I'm done my measurements, I will know the volume of the acid, the concentration of the base, and the volume of the base. So what I have is I have 10 milliliters of the base in my syringe. Uh, I'm going to add that to my flask. Uh, to that, I'm going to add some distilled water. Now, the amount of distilled water I add isn't really important. Um, it's basically just there to make sure that things mix well. And I'm going to add my two drops of phenolphthalein indicator again. And at that point, I'm going to go back and do the titration. So as I said earlier, the basic setup in this titration is exactly the same as the setup in the previous one, where I have an acid in the flask, I have a phenolphthalein indicator that is going to turn pink as the pH goes from being acidic to slightly basic. I'm aiming for a faint pink. Uh, I have a measurable volume of base in the burette, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to slowly add acid to the ba uh, slowly add base rather, slowly add the base to the acid. Uh, again, I don't really know how much it's going to take in the first one, so the first one I'm going to try and take it very slow, and so that I don't overshoot by accident any more than I have to. Okay, I don't know how well you can see it. That is a very, very, very faint pink. Um, at least it was. It's now faded a little bit. What I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to add a single drop more. So right now, to me, this is a faint pink, although, nope, it is gone uh, colorless a bit more. So I had it to a faint pink, or I thought it was going to be ideal, but as the added base, found those last few molecules of acid to react with, the color went away. I'm going to add just a single drop more. In fact, almost not quite a single drop because it's going to hang off and I'm going to try and tap it. And then I get it's no longer a faint pink, it's actually a little bit darker than what I would like it to be. Now the reason why I did that was to show you that when you get close, it's really, really easy to overshoot it. Um, that's a pretty good pink color, it's better than what I had on the previous one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my final measurement 
If I overshoot it by a couple of drops, a couple of drops don't really have that much volume, so I'm actually still uh, considered to be fairly precise in my work. Okay. So, final volume, and then I can start doing calculations. 